Hola, 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 hello. Thank you for coming back and watching my face talk. Today is gonna be a very simple date. We're gonna talk about a question that I got on Tumblr. Thank you so much for asking questions on Tumblr. Sometimes I don't get to them really fast enough, but you already know the deal with that. But here, we're gonna answer this one. Maybe you have the same question, or maybe one of your friends is going through this trouble, so make sure that you share this with them so that they can get their little tushies back on the same right road and path. That's what I meant, path, and just whoop, walk on through the woods and the jungle, and I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, so let's ask this question. Hey Stacy, I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this. My girlfriend told me the other night that she cheated on a few of her previous girlfriends. It's strange because I trust her not to cheat on me, but I'm wondering if I should be more cautious. I know she's still in contact with some of her exes. Ay, Dios mio, Dios mio. There are a lot of things that people are going to say, a lot of opinions that people are going to have. It's up to you. Do you believe that once a cheater, always a cheater? Do you believe that she's going to do that to you? A lot of the times we're blinded. I'm not saying that you are. I'm not saying that this is your situation. I'm not saying that this is happening with you. I would say yes, be more cautious. Not to the point where it's going to disrupt your relationship or anything like that, but just have that in mind that it could happen to you just like it could happen to anybody else. Unfortunately, there's no fucking tiny little, I don't know, uh, fortune ball, what do you call them? I forget. But there's nothing that's going to tell you that yes, she is going to cheat on you like she's cheated on all the other people. Or, no, she will not. She loves you and she wants to make love to you and have babies with you. That, that's what I'd be if I was a crystal ball. That's what it's called, a crystal ball. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's up to you. If you really put your trust in her and you really do honestly trust her and you don't think that she's going to pull one of those, you know, acts. Not an axe, like whoosh, but like axe. I don't know, I have our problems with articulation sometimes. I think that personally myself, I would have a lot of trouble being with somebody who has cheated multiple times in the past, um, or cheated for that matter. There are certain situations where you can be like, okay, like, I understand what happened, but for the most part, a lot of people don't believe in cheating. And if you're able to be with somebody who has cheated in the past, props to you because it's fucking hard. We're all different, I understand that, but I would personally not be able to do it. So I do hope that she does not do that, and you never know, this world is fucking crazy. There's a lot of twists and turns and there's a lot of plot stories that are twisted into little twisties, more twisties than a Twizzler has. Do they have twists? No, Twizzler does not have no twists, do they? I don't remember, but... But really, at the end of the day, it's up to you how you feel. If you believe in her that she's not going to and she doesn't, that's fucking awesome. If you believe that she doesn't and she does, then that's a life lesson learned right there. To never date a cheater again. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know, a lot of people change and maybe... I personally don't believe in it, but I think for somebody who cheats constantly, I think it's an underlying issue that they may have. Maybe they don't, maybe they just love to be a cheater. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't fucking know. I'm not one myself, so I would not know. I think, personally, someone might come along and change their life. And and they will have that chance to redeem themselves. Not that they have to, but you know what I mean. I think my simplest answer is yes, be cautious, but like I said, don't let it interfere into your relationship unless things start popping up, like, you know, those signs of uh, they may be cheating on you. And sometimes you'll never even fucking know and you'll find out later. But you just gotta keep in mind, karma comes with 10 times worse payback. Why do you want to have somebody around in your life who's gonna cheat on you or who did cheat on you? You don't. You just, you gotta surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally and will always be around for you just like you will be around for them. And that's the beauty of me changing the subject mid-topic. I don't think that's what I was supposed to be talking about. But I think that if you're comfortable with her and you trust her, then be comfortable and trust her. Don't worry yourself if you really honestly feel like she is into you. But I do want you to be cautious because it could happen to you. If you can live comfortable and you can be cool with it, then don't let it bother you. If you guys are happy and everything's going great, then don't let it bother you. I don't really know. I can't really give you much advice because if I was me, I wouldn't be in this situation. But you did mention that she still talks to her exes. I don't know how you feel about that. If you don't like that, that's something you have to bring up and you guys have to sort out. I don't know, I personally like to just stay away from all of that in respect to my girlfriend and myself, you know, and our relationship. And I really have nothing to do with people in my past, I really don't. If she really does make you happy and you guys make each other happy and you know that nothing fishy is going on behind closed doors or in front of closed doors, just carry on with it. But I wish you the best and hopefully you have nothing but positivity, love, and prosperity coming your way for the both of you. And hopefully you're that one that, you know, Swept her off her feet and you're like, no, mommy, nunca más voy a ponerte el cuerno. You know what that means <laughs> if you don't look it up. But anyways, I hope that you got at least one thing out of this. If you did, that's awesome. Apply it to your life. Any updates or anything will be down below. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. Please subscribe for more videos like this, and I will catch you guys next time. Why do I always say that? I don't know, but come watch me again. Bye.